Hello and welcome to another ATN tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect the X8 4K or the Thor 4 to the Obsidian 4 app. So let's dive in. Uh, to start, you're going to want to go into the menu and turn on the Wi-Fi on the scope. So you press the center button OK and scroll over on the carousel menu. You can scroll pretty much to the left until you get to the Wi-Fi icon. Right now, mine is already turned on. If yours isn't, turn it on now. And once it's turned on, head over to the settings uh, icon, the wrench, wrench icon. So once you get to the settings, press OK. And then we're going to scroll over to the settings tab. So a couple of clicks to the right. And there we are, the settings tab. From here, you're going to want to go um, down three to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Once you get there, click OK. And from here, we're going to go into Wi-Fi info. So some more clicks down on the tab. And we're going to go into the Wi-Fi info. So click OK. And here on the right side, the submenu, you're going to see SSID. It's going to say X8 4K minus uh, 719B. This is going to be the name of the Wi-Fi network that you're going to be looking for on your phone. So when you hit um, settings and Wi-Fi on your phone, this is the, the name of the network you're going to be looking for. The password is going to be ATN Smart HD, all lowercase letters. So that's pretty much it. That's your uh, Wi-Fi network name and your password. Make sure that the Scopes Wi-Fi is turned on when you're going to be connecting to the Obsidian app. And now I'm going to go over to the phone and uh, show you how to connect to the phone. Okay, uh, so this particular video will be for iOS devices. Um, so you should uh, download the Obsidian 4 app from the iOS App Store. Um, so the Wi-Fi should be turned on in the scope and next we're going to go into the phone settings. In the phone settings, you're going to go into Wi-Fi and you're going to turn on Wi-Fi if you haven't already done so. And you're going to look for your scope's name. My scope's name is Excite 4 k 719 b and that's the one I'm going to choose. So click on that. Now it's going to ask you for your password. And as we saw previously, the password is ATN Smart HD, all lowercase letters. And uh, let's type that in, ATN Smart HD and click join. Okay, once you get that blue check mark by the side, that means your scope is connected. And on the bottom it says no internet connection, but that's totally fine. It's supposed to be like that. It's just, it says that because you don't have an actual real internet connection uh, on your phone because you're connected to the scope and not a Wi Fi rotor. So just go into the home screen. And now you're going to click on the Obsidian 4 app. And here when you get to this screen, tap with your finger on connect your device. And choose uh, your scope. And tap on it once as well. And there you go. Uh, you're successfully connected to the Obsidian 4 app. I'm going to go through the icons real quick. So the first one is system menu. Just tap on that. And here you can change any of the um, scope settings uh, in real time. So yeah, very easy and handy to use. Uh, if you swipe left, you're going to go get into environment. Here you can change the environment uh, settings like humidity, wind speed, and wind direction. Swipe left again, you're going to go into zero and profiles. Here you can uh, change the name of your profiles, which you can't do in the scope. You can only do that on the when you're connected to the scope with the Obsidian 4 app. Um, and we'll basically also update them. So for example, we'll go to 308. It'll say current profile. We'll enter. And here you can change uh, drag function, ballistic coefficient, bullet weight, muzzle velocity, zero range, and sight height. Same as in the scope. But here as well, additional option is you can change the profile name. So from 308, let's do like AR, I don't know, 15, oops, AR 15, apply, go back, and there you go, the profile name has changed to AR 15. 
and then back one more time next uh, icon will be the reticle styles here you can change uh, in real time as well the reticle color for example let's go blue and the reticle style will go for this one so you're going to click save and you're going to click back now the next uh, icon is the viewfinder this is the live view from the scope it's very handy it's nice to see um, what your partner is seeing through the scope and you can see it on the screen in real time now and the next uh, icon is the gallery when you enter you can see your photos and videos that you took with the scope and that's that's it that's the whole uh, tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video